They're gonna be coming over here. We just gotta go and toss this thing. Yeah, yeet! Hopefully that works! Oh, mama! Big it! Woo! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the episode of Last Outer Survival 3. Roots are boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we're squeaky clean, and we are prepared for week three of season five. It is here, it is upon us, and with it, from the tasks alone, it looks like we got a brand new location we gotta go to with a brand new mortar that we are gonna be able to use. In case you boys and girls do not know, the mortar is a mythical item that, uh, well, it's pretty much the second highest level thing you can possibly craft for serious clan wars and sieges. Covers with fire completely. Well, I don't think we're gonna get into a clan war, so I imagine we got a pretty big siege uh, coming up with the mortar. We got Travis on our back and Travis has got our back covered. Travis 2.0, unfortunately. R.I.P. The OG Travis. Always remembered, never forgotten. But the week three shenanigans do begin and is this uh, the, Oh, they say two survivors have recently found a mortar somewhere and are now shooting zombies from their pickup. We need to find out what they are up to. Happily, oh, and along with it, we got a bear hunt too? Oh, mama. We got a lot of shenanigans we're gonna be getting ourselves into. But without further ado, y'all know where we want to begin our shenanigans today. And that, of course, is none other than the shelling event. We are loaded with plenty of weapons. We also got the temporary buff from the healer. That's gonna give us an extra 20% damage to our melee. And here we are at the shelling event. Hello, my compadres. How are you doing? Oh my God, this is beautiful. Prepare your junk. Whoa, stay away from my junk, dude. Hey there, we need a spotter. We want to shoot zombies. You spot, we blow. First, okay. There are flares in the trunk. Take them. Okay. Wherever you throw a flare, there we will shoot. We pay you for every day. Whoa, I'm getting paid? I like getting paid. I don't know where the truck went off to, but we got seven flares over here for our dude Rick and Cliff. And then we're going to be able to use these, I imagine, to do some major damage. So I don't think we got to be all sneaky deaky like. Let's activate the roll skill and let's uh, gather round, everyone. Gather round one, gather round all. We got some big booms we got to do, lads. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All the zombies look to be a little bit on the slower side, y'all. Gather round the star snipe and sing our mortar song. Our M-O-R-T-A-R. M-O-R-T-A-R song. And if you uh, stand in the same spot, we'll get along. Ow. And also don't hit me. No, right now we're just trying to go and bunch them up as well as we can. And then I'm going to see just how much damage we can do with one flare here. Oh my God. This is about to be a major boom. Let's see just what this is like. They're going to be coming over here. We just got to go and toss this thing. Yeah, yeet. Hopefully that works. Oh, mama. Big it. Oh, my God. We blew up the tree. Now that's incredible. All right. We got to try and line it up a little bit more. That was the first time we ever used the mortar. So we're just a little bit new, a little bit inexperienced here. There's a little bit of a cooldown that we got to take into account. So I'm going to do exactly that. It does take the mortar a second to appear, but what it does, bada bing. Bada boom! Big hit, baby! Woo! I love the mortar. Do you guys love the mortar? I love the mortar. Oh my god, week three is starting off with a bang. Now, if you'll excuse me, where are these doofuses? I have... Killed everything in the zone that I can see. Come on now, chop chop. Where are you, doofuses? Do I gotta use all the flares? Really? I gotta use all of the flares? I just killed everyone in one fell swoop. There are no survivors. I'm not sure you've noticed, unless there's some at the south side of the map. But I don't. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We got this one, doofus. Okay, well, listen up here, doofus. You get a private mortar shell just for you. That's right, bub. You got the exclu- the all-inclusive star snipe shelling experience. Okay, hold on. We gotta try and toss this thing a little bit lower. And let's just make sure that he stays in the zone. 
Bang! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna go and toss this one. Hello, toss it. There you go. We're gonna toss that one right there. And then we're gonna go and try to bring him back this way. Woo! And there we have it! What's up, Rick? What a firework, I know! That was lit! Do I gotta talk to you? Alright, what's up? It was a lot of fun. Bye. You're leaving? Rick, no! I wanna shoot the mortar some more! Don't go! Baby, come back! Oh, they're not leaving, they're chilling here. Can I, like, use the flare? What happens if I keep using the flares? I kinda wanna keep these for the next time that this event appears, I'm not gonna lie. That's all that we got? 17 samples each? Are you serious? Bruh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed in the mortar event. I was expecting something bigger and better than that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love shooting things, hold on. If I toss this, will it, uh, maybe work? Hold up, I got an idea. I want vengeance. Hey, hey, uh, Rick and, uh, whatever, Rick and Morty? Is that what the other dude's name is? I don't know, listen here. I'm not satisfied with what you gave me, so how about we just agree to disagree? Let's just, uh, toss that right over there. And that is doing absolutely nothing. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm a little bit bummed. Can I take this home, guys? Can I borrow this mortar for a bit? I promise I'll give it back, dudes. Please. Give me mortar. They don't seem interested. Bruh. Are you serious right now? Man, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a pretty easy event. It's some easy vials that we could get, and I imagine that this is going to be a daily event of some sort. But that kind of hurts a little bit that I was expected like a bigger boom. Maybe it gets harder the next time we go there. Like, I, I don't know. But at least we hopefully made some progress over here for the week three tasks. Yeah, we got to give the mortar 50 targets. Ooh, so honestly, it might be in our best interest to just like use a bunch of unnecessary flares so we could try to get up to 50 as soon as possible. Along with that, though, we just got to do a ton more damage. Got to kill some more zombies. There's a lot of quests associated with this. And I mean, it's going to make for easy points. So at the very least, we do have that to look forward to. I don't know what this is. Save five domestic turkeys. I I don't understand. I didn't see any turkeys that I had to save. So maybe there's actually different versions of the shelling event. In which case, we are definitely going to be checking those out as the time does come. But without further ado, there you boys and girls have a look at the beginnings of week three. And hold on, let's make sure that we are prepared because uh, we are entering the bear's lair, baby. And I don't think that the bear is gonna be too happy to see us. Mr. Bear, where are you? Bitty, 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 boo. Where is this bear? Oh, uh, there he is. What's up, bear? Oh, let's go, dude. The bear is still super weak. You love to see it. We're about to make quick work. Oh, don't hurt me. Of this bear. See you later, Paragata. Bear, I love you so much more than the mortar event. I love the mortar event. It's just fun. But in terms of loot, the zombie bear is very, very good. And I don't know why. Some I saw some of y'all say in that comment section down below that when you guys face the bear again, his health is completely regenerated. This is the second time I've come across the bear after initially killing him, and he's still super weak. So I don't know what's going on. But I'm pretty happy about it because easy peasy kills for the bear, baby. We get some teeth, we get some vials, and life's looking good. Let's go over, though, to the third event. We just checked out the brand new week three event. Of course, we got a little bit of week two events sprinkled into there. Let's check out a little bit of week one and then make our way back home. I think we got to line up a raid for a little bit later today as well. But there you boys and girls have a taste of the brand new week. We got all of the tasks. We are going to continue working towards these. And also, it is now possible to get the sport backpack. So definitely going to be going on a little bit of a poster scavenger hunt as well. So we can get that backpack. But also, I need a lot of teeth because I really want the cat backpack. Especially because it's going to match my underwear perfectly, baby. Oh, I love that Valentine's Day gift. Seriously. Kafir... They were a good Valentine this year. Honestly, I, my expectations, they were low. They were very low. Like if this was Limbo, it was, it'd be too low to Limbo under. That's how low the bar was. But they were, they freaking hurdled the bar, dude. They jumped over it. They cleared it. And for that, thank you, Kefir. Thank you for, I don't know, just having a good Valentine's Day gift. Now, if you could please make week three a little bit more worthwhile. I will say the challenges 
are pretty easy related to that event. So it's definitely more of a fun event. And you should be able to get some easy loot through the battle pass. Right? I think that's where the value of this event comes in handy. Because, like, you don't got to use... You don't need to heal at all at that event. You don't got to use any of your own weapons. Really, you just got to damage a bunch of people with, by shelling them with a mortar. So it's more of just like a fun event. And uh, it'll get you quite a bit of EXP to level up in the ranks of the winter season. Season 5. Let's go ahead and drink up. Glug, 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 glug. A little bit of that thirst. And let's continue clearing this joint out. Because, oh mama, our melee weapons are going to be extra powerful right now, which I absolutely love to see. See you later, numb zombie. But let me know what your boys and girls do think about this whole event in that comment section. Yeet big hits to the raider down below. Oh, you got three health, really? Bop. Now you have zero. How's it feel? Ooh, baby. I'll actually grab a couple of these armors. Those are not too shabby armors in the grand scheme of things. Let's go. And equip our weapons here. Because whenever we do have this 20% melee boost, that is when I'm like, I really want to use my melee weapons the most because they, they, the bang for your buck is insane. This machete does 45 damage. It does as much as a normal sledgehammer does, except it attacks significantly faster. And this thing, 72 damage. Not to mention the saw blade mace attack. Oh, it does some big hits, baby. But seriously, the 45 damage of the machete, I am in love with that. Is this a numb zombie? There you go. Let's show off just how powerful the saw blade mace is, especially if we get a couple of criticals up in there too. Oh my God, speaking of criticals, sliced his brains off. Sorry, bro. I know you're on the hunt for brains, but bye-bye uh, to yours. I don't know really if the zombies have any brains. They're not exactly the brightest dudes. I, I will say the zombies are pretty derpy in the grand scheme of things because they keep on thinking they can kill me for some reason. And I, I, I don't think that they realize that is uh, not possible. Speaking of things though, I like the fact that we still got these flares. I'm going to hold on to these so we can hopefully use them next time that we're at that event. And or once we do get this task done, by the way, to do to use uh, uh, 50 of these, we're going to start saving these up as like a souvenir. I like I genuinely do want to keep some of these. I think it'd be a cool memento. And maybe one day they will come in handy yet again. Time will ultimately tell before that. Hello, zombie. Welcome back. See you later. Crawling out of your hole thinking I ain't gonna kill you, you doofus. Of course I'm gonna kill you, you derp. What up, numb zombie? Oh, welcome to the dead club. Population, everyone I've encountered today. Except Rick and Morty, those two doofuses by the freaking truck. I don't know what the other dude's name was, so I'm just gonna call him Morty. Y'all can probably piece together why. But let me know what your boys and girls do think of the final season of... No, no, no. The final week of season five. Not the final season of week five. The final week of season five. What do y'all think about these challenges? What do you boys and girls think about the mortar shelling events? Because personally, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was kind of eh about it. But once you piece together that it's pretty much just like a free event, you get some free vials over there pretty much. You don't got to use any of your durability, any of your armor, any of your healing. It's easy peasy. And it's kind of like a fun way, little mini game even, of getting some pretty easy points because like honestly if you just go to that every time it appears bang 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 there are three easy peasy challenges worth 20 points a pop that you can knock out plus this one for a fiver whenever we figure out what's going on with the turkeys we got a lot of things to do baby a lot of things to do like I'm saying, let me know what your boys and girls do think about it in that comment section uh, down below. And reminded that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly $25 and to touch place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. Then let's see what on today's video. Y'all could go ahead and turn on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And no, that is not what I want to do. That will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure to stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway. Not to mention all the other survival games going up on the channel as well. That I absolutely cannot wait to share with y'all. Yeah, boop, big hit to you. And what up, my crawler? I will finish you off and then get sneaky deaky like with this fella over here. Seriously, this saw blade mace just one hitter quitters these fast rotters. Bop! See you later. 
alligator. Oh, hello, Hunter. How are you doing, buddy? Was not expecting to see you already. Let's hit you with the slow-mo on our machete. That will make him attack us 20% slower, which means we should be able to minimize the damage that we take a little bit before we ultimately brutally murder him. Oh, hello! Your brother watcher, the hunter. He put up a good fight, but he is dead. You want to know why? He was dumb enough to attack me. Oh, what's that? You're doing the same thing. Sayonara, mother trucker. Bye. Bye. Now we still got one more boss down in these depths we gotta clear out. Dude, we're gonna end up walking out here with like 200 of each blood sample. We're gonna be ready to go to war at Nick Sandy's arena, which I absolutely love. Oh, hello, crawler. Almost missed you there, buddy. We're gonna continue clearing this joint out. Hopefully I can sneak attack this fast router. Ah, I thought maybe it'd be possible. I was horribly mistaken. Ah, that's painful. That is painful. Okay, hold on though. I got an idea on how we might be able to clear out a couple of these zombies a little bit more efficiently. Oh, you love to see all that jazz we're picking up, though. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on there, buddy. Let's just, there you go, there you go, there you go. I wanted this feller, and I'm gonna take out this fast router. Oh, the crawler's even coming out to play. Bro, I did not even come close to your little hidey hole, but I ain't complaining, because now this fast router has no idea what's going on. Bop, bang, obla, and goodbye to the alls of y'all. Now, I will get to that person over there a little bit later. I just want to continue clearing out a couple of these zombies so we can get to the foreman. Oh my god, two hits. See you later. That dude got dunzo real quick. And then I'm gonna hit you with the slow-mo attack. And then pop a couple of more up in there. Goodbye to that arm. You didn't need it. Arms, optional when you're dealing with me. I brought the flare guns too because I wasn't sure if the zombie bear was actually going to like regenerate his health. He did it, so we don't really have to use the flare guns because they're really good at doing a lot of damage to the bear if you play your cards right. And and I like that because the bear is a douche canoe. Like seriously, 6,000 health. That is the most powerful boss in the game. I don't know if he's the hardest hitting, but definitely... In terms of health, the tankiest boss in the game. We had to freaking chase that dude across multiple areas, bro. That's insane. And all right, it is now time for the foreman to become the dead man. Hello, foreman. I'm gonna turn you into the three man, then into the two man, then into the true man. Oh, you wanna be a president? Fine, you can be a true man too. But then, back to the two man, back to the one man, and then the zero man, AKA the dead man. That's what you get, Foreman. That's what you are. You're not a four. You're a zero. You're dead. You're donezo. Capiche. Caput. That's what you are. Now let's go back to these melee weapons. Because I want to continue getting the bang for my buck with these things, man. Oh my god. Seriously. When this, when this ability is active, just prime time to use melee weapons. I literally, like, for the most part, I just try to save my melee weapons for when this is active. Because then we just get, like, so much out of it, you know? I don't know. I like bargain bin hunting when I can. Dude, we're literally about to be like almost 200 a pop on each of these vials. You just love to see that. And we'll finish you off here really quickly. I'll use a med kit in just one moment. Nice, dude. We're about to 200 on these red ones. Let's go. And we'll move to this crawler over here. But yeah, like I'm saying, make sure you have that notification bell hit. It's going to be a great way of staying in the loop with all the other awesome survival games going up on the channel as well. I actually got my eyes peeled, and I think one near the end of this month slash beginning of next month. There's a really, really good one that I cannot wait to get started. I've been keeping some tabs on it. Oh, mama. Things are about to get interesting with what I got in store for your boys and girls. So make sure your boys and girls are checking out some of the other videos going up, in addition, of course, to the last day on Earth. But, oh, baby, 200 reds. Can we get 200 on the other vials, though? Time will tell. And let's go and use a little bit of a med kit. Bring our health back up to full. We got some beans. And I'm pretty good with what we got in store for ourselves. Oh, let's see what is over at this. Did I, did I loot this fun yet? No, I did not. We must loot these knapsacks and see what they got. Oh, Jakey. You'd love to see it. And some charcoal, man. I, I'm not gonna lie. Nice little thing about the old mine event. This is some free charcoal here or there, and I need lots of charcoal to keep my freaking steel production going. Because steel takes a lot of charcoal to produce even, like, a little bit, you know? It is an expensive process, y'all. Yeet! There you go! Let's do as much damage as we can to these two schmucks. And then sneak up on this last dude, and then the old man event has been cleared! We just did one of each week of season five. Oh, hold up. We got a crawler. We got a little straggler over here. What's up, buddy? Bop. Bop. There you go. And now, 
We have officially done every event of season five in one day. And we got a taste of everything that it's got to offer. But the one thing that I really hate is just, just a lot of these are going to be temporary, man. A lot of these are just like, I don't think these events are sticking around after season five's over. And that kind of sucks, dude. Like, that's a bit of a bummer. I really was kind of hope, like, I don't know. I like when permanent things are added in. So when the season's over, like, we still have new stuff to do, not just these, like, temporary things. Like, it'd be awesome if they even just, like, repurposed the old mine event, for example. Because this one's really cool. Having some of these abandoned mines and stuff like that, maybe repurpose it. So instead of, I don't know, being based around blood vials, even, like, the zombie bear event, you base them around, like, actual loot. I think that would be really cool. Oh, my God. Just mowed him down. One hitter, quitter. Sayonara, mother trucker. And all right. But enough preaching about personally what I'd want to see this season have, which would be a permanent addition to the game and not just temporary stuff. Even like the Gladiator Arena, dude. That'd be cool if that was permanent. And we got some like prizes and I don't know. Even, even if the blood vials did stick around. Hello, junkyard. Color me intrigued, Batman. I'm going to stop by on home really quickly. We got to drop off a couple of things and then... The junkyard event. And then we will go on to today's raid. Sorry, convoy, not interested. We got better events that we're trying to go to at the momento. And alrighty, I reckon me and Travis are prepared for a little adventure as soon as we get our furnace up and running, which does require a little bit of charcoal to continue that fabled steel production. Because even at our point in the game, like even when we are like pretty end game in the grand scheme of things, like trust me when I say this, steel is always valuable. You always need more steel. Like even it's just good to future proof because like whenever new things are added to the game, there's a good chance that like higher end stuff might be using steel steel so it's good to stockpile plus there's this little thing known as steel walls that i kind of want to invest more of into and uh that takes a lot of steel so just a great great reason to have a lot of that ideally hello mr airdrop i ain't interested i got bigger fish to fry baby it's fish fry friday except it's not friday but that's all right because when the fish fries around every day's friday and those fish today gonna be some suckers over at the chopper event the question is what version are we getting are we getting the raider chopper event are we getting the trade chopper event which is why we got that engine on the back of our chopper or protect the doofus that wants to go through the junkyard please tell me it's protect the doofus oh that's the one i didn't want this guy he just has a death wish he's not good at staying alive i don't know how or why he ended up in this junkyard? Because he need like a freaking level 40 chopper to get here anyway. That dude over there, it, A, he doesn't have a chopper. B, there's no way he'd be able to live long enough to get a chopper, okay? Oh my God, I gotta spread some vitamin P. Oh my goodness, that's how terrified I am of this event. My guy, Travis told him, Star, you gotta pee before you go. And my guy's like, Travis, you right. You always right. Never doubt Travis. Travis always knows what's best. Hello, Fazdabaita. I'm beat to Shane. And we'll take out the Vons of you. And then holy guacamole. This is what I was scared of. We got a lot of big enemies coming our way. Well, not a lot of bigger ones, but I mean, we got some pretty tough, uh, pretty tough customers here, luckily. This Sawblade Mace is perfect at taking out some of the bigger dudes. Now, we are doing this event pretty much the perfect way. You want to sneak past that dude? Because if you get close enough, he's going to be like, Hey, Star, we got to go. We got to go in the junkyard. I don't want you to clear it out first. Let's go in the junkyard together. And then he dies a very tragic death. Yeah, that is literally exactly how it goes down. I don't want it to go down like that. I want him to live because if he lives, he will pop open the chest that he's standing next to. Okay, honestly, you should have to pay me first. I take payment up front. But for some reason... I, I can't force his hand into that. But what I can do, what's with, what's with some of the dead zombies? Like, why are there already some dead zombies here? What is going on with your arm, bro? Oh, that's not his arm. Oh, that's part of, oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. That's a part of the army truck. Dude, I always thought that was his arm. I'm like, dude, you have a very glitched arm. Do you know that? Uh, no, that, that was not his arm. That makes a lot of sense. Let's take out some hungry, hungry hippo and take out some of these schmucks as well. We'll just use up all the machete that we can continue using this 20% boost to the best of our advantage. Sayonara, mother truckers. All these mother truckers, man. You know what? I'm feeling like I got my own shipping fleet of trucks. Okay, with all these mother truckers that we've taken care of. Now, I don't know if we got to take care of these dudes here, but I always rather play it safe. We're going to take care of these dudes over here. Our armor is on the brink of destruction. That's no bueno. 
All right, let's take out some of these guys. Yeah, that is okay. Still not a super tough enemy. No, I didn't. I didn't want to use the saw blade mace on the bloater. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Our armor is on the brink of destruction, and if that happens, we're gonna start taking a lot more damage per hit. No, thank you. No, 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 no. Oh, mama! That's what I was talking about, dude. That's what I was talking about. We're now naked. This is not the place you want to be naked. But in brighter news, we have dealt with pretty much all of the other zombies. Now, due to my nakedness. I am going to equip some pistols to protect this guy. So hopefully, I do not need to die as badly. So he's going to start looting that stuff. They're going to summon a bunch of dudes over here. And we're going to try to take out absolutely as many of them as we can before this guy dies via his death wish. Let's make sure that we use a med kit every time that we take care of a little bit of business. He's going to loot some stuff over here. And it's going to continue to summon some more dudes we got to worry about. I think a savage giant is going to show up at some point, which is kind of low-key. What I am terrified of. Holy guacamole. Bro, are you going to wait for me? I am your protector. I'm your guardian angel. Why are you running away from me? You are just asking to be killed, and I really don't want you getting killed, dude. I like you alive. Oh, look at that. Look at who decided to help. Don't worry. The person in the Valentine's Day underwear has got things covered. Dang right, my reward's in this chest. Woo! And the reward was worth it, baby. This is why we do the Junkyard event. The only area outside of Bunker Bravo that can get us a car battery, which is so essential. We got to stockpile these because A, if we didn't build our ATV yet, this would help us build our ATV. B, now that we have our ATV built, we can use it at the swamp to get some very rare lead ore. And C, who knows what else these things could be used for in the future. Definitely a resource that I want to stockpile. Give me those shoes. I will take whatever armor that I could get in just in general. It's got some pretty good stuff all around. And that is why we do the Junkyard event, baby. That's why we put up with this doofus' shenanigans right here, man. That right there is exactly why. And all right. I don't want to activate any of the cars that will activate an alarm. That's not good for business. I'm just going to loot up the back of this because it tends to have some decent stuff. What do you know? Called it. Decent stuff. Ahoy. Uh, why don't we go and toss a little bit of a weapon there? Let's toss a little bit of the first aid kit there. Let's put this armor on. Nice. Underwear still very noticeable. Loot up the back of this. These are like the two lootables that don't cause an alarm, which will just summon more zombies on us. I, if you guys haven't been able to tell, don't want to deal with more zombies. Why? Well, I have no pantalones. That's not usually a problem, but I also have no hat. And I just got, well, some pretty poopy shoes. Actually, I don't think the shoes give us any protection whatsoever. They don't. We just walk slightly faster with them. And we pretty much just have a chest plate to protect us. I tend to like a little more than a chest plate. Thank you for your shenanigans. I hopefully will be not seeing you soon. But hey, if you got ATV batteries, I don't mind your shenanigans. Because that is some nice loot that we got our hands on. But okie dokie. Oh, the dealer has arrived. It's actually one of our quests to knock out a deal with this guy. So I'm going to see what exactly he wants from us. Maybe we make return trip, we do little deal with dealer, we get little good loot, life is good, yeah? I think that is the game plan for the moment with uh, dealer Joe over here. Dude, this thing just sounds like Tron. What's up, dealer? You want an engine? I got one of those. Uh, oh. Actually, that's pretty doable, man. Four band-aids, a first aid kit, and four alcohol. I shall return, Joseph. And hopefully I get a good weapon out of this too. Because if we're lucky, best thing we could get out of this, personally, I think, is the shotgun. We can also get an M16. But, let's be honest, shotgun rain is a little bit better than an M16. But M16 still, not too shabby. Okie dokie. Might as well make a trip over to our favorite rocket ship. It's not a rocket ship. Maybe it got dropped off by a rocket ship. The airdrop, it came from the sky. Rockets fly in the sky. Coincidence? I think not. Back to the rocket ship we go. And let's see if there's maybe something good over here at the air drop. Hey, like I'm saying, make sure your boys and girls do have that notification bell to stay in the loop. Not just with the other awesome survival games we got going on. If you guys like Last Day on Earth, definitely check out the Seven Days to Die series. That one is an awesome series. Those of y'all that are checking it out so far are enjoying the bejesus out of it. This other game that I'm talking about that's going to be starting soon. Obviously, that's going to be an awesome series. Just long story short, whenever you guys see a new video go up on the channel, give it a look. You might find another awesome survival game that you enjoy in another series that you do want to keep up with. Because I'm always on the hunt for the best survival games imaginable Last Day on Earth. Obviously being one of those best ones. And if y'all like Last Day on Earth, a great chance we got similar tastes, baby. Woo! 
I like what I am seeing, baby. I will be putting away the scrap metal a lot of the lands. And yeah, yeah, I'll, I kind of, yeah, goodbye to the flash drive. I do not require you at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. And away we go. We need some alcohol. We need some band-aids. And we got to strike up a deal with the homie, the dealer. And we gotta call on some raiders, try to get a raid set up. Cause maybe this dealer will actually be one of the quests that we gotta knock out. And that notification bell as well as a great way of staying in the loop with all the newness coming to last down earth. As soon as a new update comes out, we're checking it out. As soon as a new season week comes out, like as soon as anything new comes to last down earth, we are checking it out. We are showing it off. And even ahead of time, we're staying in the loop with all the new things coming to the game. So you guys have all the info imaginable on last day on earth. Not to mention, as soon as the newness happens, like for example, week three over here, the shelling event, we're checking it out so you guys know what to expect out of it. Because sometimes these events can be a bit tougher than expected. So I want to make sure that you boys and girls are uh, prepared. And no better way than using me as a sacrificial lamb. Woohoo! And alrighty, y'all, the time is nigh. No, not Bill Nye the Science Guy, as cool as he might be. No, 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 no. The time is nigh. It's near. It's now. We are about to strike a deal. The greatest deal in the history of deal is with the dealer deals. But first, we got the call in the ray that is gonna be like, hey buddy, you want us to do a deal with the dealers? Cause if not, I don't know. I don't know, it's just, it's just better to see, you know, what, what they do want done. It might save us a little bit. And the Raiders actually do want us to make a deal with the dealers, so woo, that will save us a little bit in the long run. But okie dokie, let's go ahead, let's hop on over here, let's strike up that deal, and then let's get to raiding today as we continue to the best of our ability, our daily raiding shenanigans. So without further ado... Oh, no new events popping up on the map, unfortunately. But the dealer are just still around, buddy. And we got this deal that we got to strike up. But seriously, y'all. Also, best luck in the giveaway, like I was saying. Can't wait to hear what y'all got to say. Just in general, what you guys think of these Season 5 Week 3 shenanigans. With the shelling event and that type of jazz. And obviously, looking forward to keeping up with Last Downers. Because we got some really big updates coming down the pipeline between what we saw with that freaking huge crater that we talked about in the last video coming to multiplayer. Like, multiplayer's got some big changes in store, y'all. Big, big, big stuff is going to be changing. Bop! Let's do that. We got a task completed. Let's pop this thing open and... Not too bad. I'll take... I will take that to the bank. A machete? Listen. That's some of my favorite stuff right there. Oh, what's that? We got a level up. Level 29. We got a gas cylinder. You'll love to see that. We might have enough of those to build our ATV already, but we still need more of them to actually run our chemistry station workbench whenever we do want to produce some product out of that. But hokey dokey, let's make our way back home, lads. And let's prepare for a raid. And woohoo-hoo! Let's go and get the stuff underway after we do a couple of necessities. Number one, we got to grab the hatchets, or should I say the materials for the hatchets, and turn them into the hatchets themselves. For I cannot just throw wood and rocks at a wall and expect it to break. We must create, we must synthesize the proper tools known as hatchets first, and then, and only then, Will we be able to break down the walls? Speaking of breaking walls, as y'all may have seen, we got high explosives. We will be prepared to do some good stuff with that. We are also taking off the little engine that could over here. Because there is a chance that we do find a generator or even some more engines that we can take home instead. So things are lining up nicely. But to the Tron Mobile! And over to whoever the unlucky schmuck that we got a raid today. May or may not be. His name is Player6147. But might as well just call him Dead Meat. Because that's what he's about to be. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just in a good mood today. Like, hopefully you guys are having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety. That only keeps on getting better from here on out. So I've been doing uh pretty decent. I can't get off my bike. What do you mean, dog? What do you mean? And okay, this appears to be... A little smaller than I expected. Are we sure there isn't like a second base that we can break into here? No, I do not think so. Dang. That's unfortunate. But regardless, still having a good day, y'all. Between the new event that we got to check out. Just 
with all the stuff we know about upcoming last day on Earth updates that I cannot wait to cover and hopefully you boys and girls cannot wait for either. Between all of that jazz and of course, none other than some of the other awesome survival games we're checking out. We had an awesome seven days to die video go up today. And like I'm saying, we got some awesome other survival games on our radar that we are going to be checking out as well. Life is good right now, y'all. And seriously, hopefully, boys and girls do enjoy some of the other series we got going on. Definitely, definitely check them out. Because I think that you will find some stuff that you do quite thoroughly enjoy. And hello, nothing that I'm interested in here, unfortunately. Let's get the high explosives. Let's do the big boom. I believe that is the next logical step for what we are trying to do here. As a wise man once said, let's put down the C4 and bada bing, bada boom. We're into a room filled to the brim with some good loot. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to bring these fast biters over this way so we can deal with them a little bit more handily, one by one. And then when the floater bloaters get around, we're gonna use the saw blade mace to deal with those schmucks. But first things first, let's let these dudes get a little bit closer. I want to attack this guy because he's almost dead. Bop. There you go, he's taken care of. And I will actually soften up this fast biter with a blow from that. Look at that 73 damage. You'd love to see it. And pop. We'll do that. Let's bring out the saw itself. A little bit of electrified melee weaponry. Okay, and that thing broke over there. Beautiful. Exactly how we planned it. This, as crazy as it might seem, is exactly what we wanted, lads. Let's just go and get a whoop, big hit into there. And oh, very unfortunate. It's time for you to get punched to death like a butterfly sting like a bee. Goodbye to that floater bloater. And now it is time for us to say hello to all the loot of this room. I might need to grab a hatchet from my inbox as well. Ooh, shiny. Never mind. We got more hatchets. More than enough to break into all the chests that this room has to offer. Now the question is, what does the room have to offer? Time will tell. Let's make sure that we equip some of the uh, good stuff here as well. Because I do know that things are about to get fugly. All right, there you go. They have been summoned. Oh, that's a lot of wrenches. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Kind of starting to be worth the C4 that we sacrificed here. We're going to use our pistol drizzle to get rid of some of the smaller dudes, like the fast fighters. And then we'll switch over to the saw blade mace to take care of the big boys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's make sure not to die either. Because there's a lot of people that are going to be trying to do damage to us. Bop. Big hit over there. Just trying to get as much bang for our buck as we can with none other than the saw blade mace. Let's get one hit off on you, and then time for the saw to begin. And we'll pistol drizzle you to doom from there. And okay. Anything within these chests, that might still be good. That's one chest over there is good. We will break into that in a second, and we'll see what, that, uh, what we can grab from there. Okay, a little bit of wood. Not too shabby. I'll, I will take it. I will take it to the bank. Eh. Uh, eh. Nothing too incredible there. For the most part, it does appear that this is going to be a bit of a raw resource. Whoa! Never mind. Now take it back. We got some decent stuff coming our way, baby. That was some SWAT armor we saw and a little bit of a gun as well. That's some nice redemption. Let's go and try to separate that one abomination from the pack. Let's start using this saw blade mace to the best of our ability. Taking these dudes out slowly but surely. Oh, no. I thought we had the barrel roll skill ready to go. I was horribly mistaken. We did not. Let's slow-mo that dude. And let's soften this guy up with some saws there. And all right. Let's suck in some hits off into these guys. Bop. Bop. And oh, you? You want to see what it's like to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee? Well, there you go. Leaving my stinger all up in there. See you. See you, Nara. Sayonara. See you later. Definitely did not try fusing those words. Don't know what you're talking about. And all right, Mr. Chest. Oh, let's go, dude. Eight aluminum plates. I'll take it. Always a good day when we can get some aluminum. That's one of the rare metals. Not super rare, but hey. Metals are metals, dude. Anything above iron quality, I'm usually pretty psyched to get. Now, if you'll excuse me, let's start kind of separating all that we got over here. Definitely grabbing all the SWAT armor that we can. Definitely filling up with some of the stuff from this chest. Five wrenches. Love to see it. Some of this stuff, not too shabby. Easy. Eh... We'll grab, I, I don't know if we'll end up going home with the charcoal, but I'll just grab it now for the time being as we kind of try to fill up our inventory. A couple of those aren't too bad either. Elite all your carrots. Thank you, laddie. Um, 
I might break into that woodworking bench there too. We do have a little bit of noise to play with, so might as well make the most of it. The woodworking bench might have some oak if we're lucky. And no, nah, just empty hopes and dreams. My favorite. And at this point, it's just a question of what do I want to take home with me? And speaking of which, this is not a raid that we got through revenge. We had to talk to someone to get this raid, so they're going to want a part of the raid. I do not want to give them a part of the raid. As such, inside of our chopper, we got to stash away the most valuable stuff that we came across. Otherwise, they're going to be asking some questions like, where's my loot? And my answer to that, I want it to be... Oh, interesting. I want that answer to be no loot for you. But I also don't want angry raiders showing up at my base. Stirring up some ruckus, you know? Stirring up, stirring up some trouble. Although I wouldn't mind getting into a tussle with them sometime soon. Also, that's a half a stack of charcoal. I think I'll end up going home with that. Always happy to grab a little bit of raw wood as well. Probably pretty happy with some of these raw resources too. Actually, I'll probably grab some of these wires. Wires are too good. I like wires. Yes, 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 yes. And I'll just continue sifting through this and trying to figure out exactly what we do want to bring home with us. But with that said, with that done, that's going to go to start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth. A survival, like I'm saying, hopefully boys and girls did enjoy. Welcome to Season 3 of Week 5. No. Week 3 of Season 5. Sorry, the cogs in my brain had to really get turned in there for a second. <laughs> but welcome, one welcome all. The final week is upon us. We gotta do our best. We gotta get all the rewards that we can. And we gotta get that dang kitty backpack and the khaki pants. Even though this is more camo than khaki. The game says khaki, the khakis. I, I forgot my khakis and my khakis, you know? Something like that. And before we do leave again, like I'm saying, make sure you boys and girls do keep an eye out for some of the other videos going up. We got some really awesome series currently going on and some videos that I'm really excited to start some series on. I think you boys and girls are going to absolutely enjoy the bejesus out of them. But with that said, with that done, that is going to go to start bringing an end to this episode of Last Out of Survival. Hey, here you guys are holding for watching. Have an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.